Greetings, boys and girls. I'm Dr. Ben Carson. I'm a neurosurgeon at Johns Hopkins Children's Center in Baltimore, Maryland. Neurosurgeons operate on people's brains and spinal cords and nerves, and uh, they take care of things that frequently are very, very dangerous. So it takes a long time to become a neurosurgeon, but we enjoy what we do, and we especially enjoy being able to give people their life back in a better condition than we found them. Today is one of my favorite days of the year. Today is Ben Carson Reading Day. This day is special to me because I know how important it is to read every single day. You know, when I was a kid, I wasn't a very good student, but my mother turned off the TV and made us read books, and I didn't like that very much in the beginning. But after a while, I actually began to enjoy it because between the covers of those books, I could go anywhere, I could be anybody, I could do anything. I began to know things that nobody else knew. And within the space of a year and a half, I went from the bottom of the class to the top of the class and never stopped to look back after that. Today, I would like to share a story with you. The name of the book is, Where Was I? New York. Before we start, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this book. The author of this book is David Carberry. Mr. Carberry worked at a job where he had to travel to different cities around the country. Every time he would return from a business trip, his two children would ask about the city he had just visited. They liked his stories so much, he decided to write them down and share them with other children. In this story, Mr. Carberry is returning from New York City. I was in one of the biggest cities in the whole wide world, New York. Every year, millions of people go there to see the city and what it has to offer, including the Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island. This amazing Lady of Liberty has a crown on her head with seven spikes. She was a gift from France and holds a torch so high that it can almost touch the clouds. I've never seen anything like New York. The buildings are really tall and there are millions of people all over. People call it the city that never sleeps. I imagine people don't sleep because it's so noisy, especially Times Square. New York is also called the Big Apple. I wonder if it's because there are so many fruit stands all over the city. I saw hot dog stands too, one in almost every corner. I bought a hot dog for $1.50. I gave the man $2. Do you know how much I got back? There are lots of people walking the streets in New York. There are so many police officers and firefighters that help people. They make sure New York is a safe place. Some call these men and women New York's finest. They helped me cross the street. The city of New York is located in the state of New York. The state of New York is surrounded by other states. New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, Vermont, and Massachusetts. New York is even next to another country, Canada. New York has a huge park called Central Park. There are so many trees and people having fun. People jog and walk their dogs. You can take an adventure on a great big carriage pulled by a beautiful horse. My favorite horse was Jasper. He licked my hand. I also went to Grand Central Station and took a ride on the subway. The subway is a huge train that goes underneath the entire city of New York and it will take you wherever you want to go. I saw trains that had the letters A, B, C and the numbers 1, 2, 3. New York has some of the greatest shows in the world on Broadway. There are actors and actresses on stage singing and dancing. I saw a show that had a wicked witch. New York has plenty of fun things to do. You can see some of the world's tallest buildings like the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building. You can go shopping in some of the biggest and best toy stores ever. There are thousands of toys and some of them are even bigger than you. New York also has had huge parades, especially on very special holidays like Thanksgiving you will see gigantic balloons with people holding on to them as they walk in the parade. You will also see many familiar faces and cartoon characters. New York has every kind of sports team. You can see big league basketball games, baseball games, football games or hockey games, and so much more. I saw a basketball game in Madison Square Gardens. New York is such a great city. 
There are so many things to see and do. I can't wait until I go back. And next time, I hope it's with you. New York City is a wonderful place to visit. I've visited New York City many times. One of my favorite places to visit in New York City is the Metropolitan Opera House at Lincoln Center. I like it because I love music and the performances there are absolutely spectacular with artists from all over the world and it is just so thrilling to be in the presence of people who practice their craft with such excellence. What is your favorite city? If you came back from a visit, what would you want to share about the city? It was a pleasure to spend Ben Carson Reading Day with you. I hope you enjoy the celebrations your school has planned for you today. And remember to always think big and read as much as you can.